Welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you're here. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this Calla Lily card, which I created for my parents' anniversary. And because Calla Lilies are traditionally used for weddings and for Easter and also for sympathy cards, it would be a great wedding card sympathy card or anniversary card, of course, also a wedding card or a card for anyone who loves cow lilies. I made five cow lilies because we have five people in our family and one flower represents each of us. I started my first cow lily up at the top in the middle and I started sweeping up and I wanted to make sure that my lines were graceful and very bendy. So I'm sweeping up curving one way and then the other up toward the tip of the cow lily and then pulling down to meet at the bottom. Then I make the bottom portion of the blossom by pulling down and making that little tube and rounding it to the corner where the stem comes. On the other side, I bulge out just a little bit to show how it's wrapping around. And then I pull down towards the stem and go back up and add the little yellow part sticking up, which is called the spadix. Now that I have set my space with my top flower, I'm ready to go down and do the bottom flowers, which will set the bottom of my picture. I sweep slowly up and around to make the top of that trumpet shape that these calla lilies have. After that, I think about how I want to have each flower a little different and calla lilies fold down and around. And so on this one, I put a little front fold area and I'm ready to pull down on that sort of tubey base of this trumpet shaped flower. And so again, I just make lines that are not straight. They have a little bit of curve, um, curving in towards the middle and then out a little bit as they get to the stems and go back up and add a spadex. I'm going to anchor this picture with that other bottom flower next. And I think about how I want all of the tips of the flowers pointing out because for this bouquet, I think it's just going to have a really nice look and it's going to be very gracious. In my picture, I did decide to add a spadex to each of the cow lilies and they're at different angles. And sometimes when you do look at cow lilies in real life, it depends on the angle you're looking at, whether or not you actually do see the spadex. But for me in this picture, it felt right to be able to show them all. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you look at pictures of real calla lilies, sometimes you see them all and sometimes you don't. This flower is actually tucked in behind the two base flowers at the bottom of the picture. So that bottom portion of the bloom is gonna come right down and then hide behind the other bloom that's in front of it to show the depth on the inside of the blossom. I make a slightly curved line like a smile before I have the rounded shape of the spadex coming up out of the top of it. And then I go over to my next flower and I'm going to pull up from behind that top flower and I'm going to smoothly pull towards the tip and back down. And I'm thinking of how the flower comes down and then I'm going to show the curve where it wraps around. So picture that being the curve of the bottom of the blossom where it wraps around and then I'm going to make the top of the blossom meet up with it. So one more curved line is going to be showing the depth in this last blossom and then I'm going to be using curved lines also for the stems. Calories I was looking at, the stems were just a little wider at the top just before they met the blossom. Now on that middle flower, that's going to be tricky. The stem, I'm going to want it to come down and be sort of hiding a little bit behind the other flowers. So there I make that long, slightly swooping line. And then I just think about where is that parallel line going to be for the other side of the stem. And I decided it would just barely be showing right on one side. Now the leaves are shaped similar to the blossom. So for those background leaves, I pull up away from the flowers and then slowly curve a little in before going out as I pull down. The line for the midrib goes straight up toward the point of the leaf, and then I make all of the rest of the ribs come out from that midrib. So I picture that midrib behind the leaf and draw all the rest of the ribs coming out from it. 
Now the next leaf is going to be a little bit curved up at the end like it's tipping over. So I make it a little bit rounder and then I add the side of the leaf peeking out from behind the flowers and again that mid rib, that line that goes straight up towards the tip and some little lines coming off of it. And one more leaf over on this side so that I can frame all of my flowers. The dark green leaves will make a nice contrast to the cow lilies in my picture. And I wanted to show you a little bit about the coloring. I'm actually using um, colored pencils that my kids had in elementary school well over 10 years ago. But I want to show you that um, with these just regular Crayola pencils, you can actually erase and get a pretty good effect. I really believe that you can make a special card for somebody using almost any materials. Um, these are not professional grade um, colored pencils and it would be a brighter and more blended picture if I did, but they would be more expensive than the pencils I found in my closet. I also wanted you to see that I went around the edges before I filled in because it makes it easier to fill in and I am coloring um, along with the grain of the leaf to make it look a little more realistic and even though I just have the classic 24 Crayolas I am going over with a couple different colors of green to make it a little more rich and eventually I will even use a little black around my black lines to just define it a little bit more. So here is the card that I made for my parents for their anniversary. It would also make a great card for a wedding or Easter or many other occasions. If you like drawing and you like creating greeting cards and you'd like to draw along with me, please like and subscribe to get more content like this. I will be using different materials for drawing and I hope you join me again.